a Jay Waller, a nobody with no credentials, no expertise, no qualifications at all. And if you examine the content of what he's saying, it's dog shit. It's just fucking marketer messages. It's just feel good, stupid shit. Okay, today we're going to be making fun of the dipshit who goes by Jay Waller. This guy's nothing more than just a fucking puppet for the Tates. When he first came on the scene, they tried to pump him up as some kind of guru with a, with a fake backstory and all this shit. It's been a good past month in the manosphere. Andrew Tate is formally charged. Yes, I am happy about that. I think he's a big piece of shit. I think he's negatively influencing tons of guys. And I think him and Tristan belong in jail. That's my opinion. You can disagree. I don't give a shit. Now we will turn our attention on to Jay Waller. Jay Waller, for those of you that, that missed it, it was up briefly. I interviewed this fucking idiot's mom, okay, which may have been uh, crossing a line. That's why we took the video down. It was kind of unprecedented territory. But for the record, his mom reached out to me because I was taking him on head on because I can spot frauds a mile away. And all his fucking community posts and all his fucking videos were just clearly him reciting copywriter messages. And all his advice regarding dating was about as far off in left field as you can get, okay, namely just Southern gentleman nonsense. I'll never let a girl open the door for me. When she's coming up to the door, I'm like, hold on, let me open that door. And he's going to go down with the ship trying to defend fucking scumbag Andrew Tate. Fuck, Fuck all that. that. Anyways, I brought his mom on and she's like, Justin's lied to you all. Justin's full of shit. Justin used to be a nice boy. And then he got fucking roped into Tate's cult, right? And I know behind the scenes from various industry connections, Justin Waller and, and Sterling Cooper are just like, you know, hunting down like high level marketers to package up their bullshit message in a nice pretty package. And Justin managed to land himself on Jubilee, which has like 8 million subscribers. The circus continues. Oh, and who, who else did we forget? Fucking Hamza saying all this weird, creepy shit. Treat girls like your daughter. Treat her like you would your daughter. These guys like literally just fucking crucify themselves. How did he get so popular? Associating with cocksuckers. Primarily, such as Andrew and Tristan Tate, such as Fresh and Fit, such as Sneeko. When you align with all the biggest shitheads in the space that have giant followings, you're going to become popular too, especially if you wear the same fucking dumb blue suit on every single podcast appearance. But when I brought his mom on, I didn't finish <laughs> that thought. I'm sure they all fucking hate me. Jay Waller, okay, his mom came on the channel, was like, my son's a big liar, my son's a big piece of shit, my son's fake, blah, 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 blah. And I let her just fucking tell the story from her, her point of view. He got so popular just... Primarily through aligning with shitheads. But anyways, let's jump into this fucking dumb Jubilee video. Get that over with. I haven't seen it yet. Not looking forward to look to watching it, but this is my job now. The title of this video is Alpha Male J Wallet. What, what makes him an alpha male? Because he wears that blue, that dumb blue suit everywhere. Because he lifts weights. Because he acts like he knows what he's talking about. No, none of the above. Nothing. That guy's a fucking loser. What a dumbass. He literally wears that exact same outfit everywhere. Men should be the stable ones. Men don't need to be crying in front of women. And ideally, they're not. Keep in mind, all right, this is just like a guy that has no fucking clue that has aligned himself with big piece of shit scumbags that also have no fucking clue and he puts on this dumb blue suit every single time and then he just goes on and speaks in like generalities don't take any of this to heart like i have to fucking warn everybody every time when i do these reactions you think when you're watching someone teach or like drop knowledge offer insights that the advice is legitimate it's not so don't fucking take any of this to heart let me assure you and remind you that this guy has zero credentials zero qualifications Qualifications and zero expertise in this field whatsoever. So don't cry in front of women. That's lesson number one. Our team put together a free quiz that takes about 30 seconds. And what you can do is you go identify the area you're struggling in the most or where you'd like to learn the most about, and it selects a customized set of free training videos that are going to really help you improve your skills in that area. Okay, there is no catch. And I don't mean that disrespectfully, but I don't. I think that if a woman cannot look up to you in some way, then she cannot respect you. And if she cannot respect you, she cannot love you. I totally disagree. Totally. I, I, <laughs> oh, is this fucking Lucario who gets fucking 50-something-year-old girlfriend goes and gets railed out? I did a video on that. His explanation for that was, what is she supposed to do with her time when he's banging? I, I totally agree. <laughs> totally disagree. <laughs> Step forward if you agree. I disagree with this premise off the bat. Okay, Mr. Lucario is a cuck bitch. In what fucking world does anyone think a guy that's dating a girl that looks like literal shit that's also fucking going out and getting plowed? 
by God knows who, God knows how often, with his blessing. And he's justifying that on camera. What a fucking joke. Okay? And what makes these guys beta? Because they don't have a fucking YouTube channel. Agree with the prompt. Men are designed to want to sleep with multiple women. <laughs> Look at any video of Jaywalk. I guarantee you will be wearing the same outfit. <laughs> yeah, I would say um, I definitely agree that uh, men, you know, want to sleep with multiple women. I think it's... Yeah, and so does your girl, and you allow it. It's natural because uh, one of the things are is because... <laughs> All right, this is already like, I already passed the cringe threshold. Mr. Locario Alpha. Because we, you know, we have so much <laughs> sperm and that we, you know, we produce so much sperm and that makes us want to repopulate the earth, basically. And so a lot of times what happens is, is I think that we produce so much sperm that we want to repopulate the earth. Mr. Locario is so much of a fucking dumb beta cuck that he even wears like game shirts on every appearance. What does it say? Submissive women are something. What a fucking retard. Society is telling men not to do that for whatever reason you know what i mean and some some guys fall into that but i definitely believe that you know men actually want to be with multiple women because it's just a natural thing in us this is why you hear all the time not saying it's right or wrong but it's just kind of the way i think women even cheat too it's like 50 50 yeah women are not fucking programmed to go fuck everyone okay i'm telling you the scientific facts here i've read extensively about this men all through our earliest records of human history traditionally were polyamorous and had a whole bunch of different partners women since our earliest records of human history traditionally were monogamous and only had one partner okay they need a guy that can fucking protect her and provide for her that's it do their thing you know and in some situations you know yeah that's what his girl does and mr lucario's girl i will re reiterate one more time not only is she in her 50s and looks like literal shit but she's getting piped out all around town with his permission and his blessing so they need to fucking adjust the typo here under his stupid little name and write beta so I don't think it's a, you know, a natural thing to just be with this one woman. But at the same time, when I'm with this one woman, I only want to stay with her. It's almost like I'm lying to myself if I just want to be with her. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, that makes perfect sense. K-N Alpha. Who the fuck is this guy? I'm of the firm belief that it is important to position yourself as a man to have the capacity to be with as many women as you possibly can and position yourself in a way where you understand female nature and you maximize your potential as a man. And that's where I don't necessarily agree that just because there's a deeper desire to continue to do it means it's going to be the most optimal thing for you and your own ability to thrive at the highest level and connect with God here on earth. Oh, Jesus Christ. I was like, well, this guy's actually talking some sense. Become the best version of yourself. Fucking lay the pipe with a bunch of hot girls like, okay can it get behind that and then he's like to, to connect, connect with god on your purpose it's like oh great you fucking ruined your whole speech but i think in the dating terms it's like there's nothing wrong with being multiple women because i think that's just dating it's experimenting it's finding other people but are we naturally made to just always be with one person it's like no monogamy in men is not natural at all that's a fact you can go run around with a little alpha label above your head or below your name that doesn't make you an expert about anything right and th the thing with me i'm you know i'm not monogamous so i have i have a wife i have a girlfriend you know from time to time hook up who gets piped out don't forget that you openly endorse yourself being cocked okay that does not make you alpha by any definition whatsoever these guys literally embarrass themselves what a fucking joke there's nothing cool about that you're a fucking loser if you're banging trash you're a fucking loser if you're being cocked out and being banged by trash there's like different heights of how much of a loser you can be and these guys are like shattering all the records i think a man can absolutely would be head over heels in love with a woman and still sleep with other women and then not mean anything to him. Right. And I think all men have the proclivity to want to sleep with other women. Now, whether they're a the proclivity, you don't say able to speak to that and actually act on that or not, or if they've been able to, buy, like like you said, like religiously find a way <laughs> to work around it. And I think religion has been great for that because if it weren't for religion, we probably would not have society. But I think what's most important to identify is that a man should create choice. Hey, let's get a bunch of dumb fucks that dress well and work out and let's hear their story. Stupid fucking dumb opinions. And if you have choice, you should be able to do as you wish, particularly like in your case, like in my case, if there's no deceit. Exactly. It's the lying. Oh, okay. And then these guys take this fucking big high ground. That's the worst part. Okay, they come in and they and they try to act all high and mighty and, and morally superior. Oh, it's the lying that's the problem. What do you do professionally in front of a camera day in and day out? What do all your associates do? What do all your fucking close friends do? Nothing but lie, nothing but deceive, nothing but fuck everyone over. And then you can go on camera and say, oh, lying's bad. Can the disagree a step forward? 
oh no, it's time for the betas. My friends would always try to encourage me to like hook up with girls that were on to me, but I wasn't really like into it. And it made me feel like. <laughs> Get Jay Waller here. The reason why I find Jay Waller so hilarious is that he literally has zero qualifications, zero credentials. It's a full fake backstory imported by the Tates. He's literally a marketing puppet. I called it out the first time he came on the scene because it's very obvious he's just reading off copywriter messages incongruently. He's like, and then what you're going to want to do? And it's like, dude, you're you're a fucking dumbass. And someone's like, keep Jay Waller's name out of your mouth. There's powers above you that you're not aware of that are willing to spend millions of dollars to make your life hell. Oh, okay. And now I'm at a point in my life where I feel like I'm only having sex with multiple women. So I'm not weird. I feel like even when I do have sex with these random women, it doesn't give me any gratification. And I know that comes with like random sex in the, in the end. I know in the back of my mind that like, I just like simply don't enjoy this. Like I've been with multiple women and I've been with one woman and being with one woman is just so peaceful. Am I normal? Am I weird? Is there something off about me? Everyone else around me is saying that. Mr. Lucario, if you look at the facts, is just a fucking overweight dude that needs a bra. Sounds off about how cool he is and how much of an alpha player he is, even though his main chick looks like literal dog shit and is getting piped out all around town with his fucking permission. That's not alpha. That's not cool. He doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. He's a horrible example. Hey, Jay Waller, a nobody with no credentials, no expertise, no qualifications at all. And if you examine the content of what he's saying, it's dog shit. It's just fucking marketer messages. It's just feel good, stupid shit. And then it gets amplified on these giant mainstream channels. Okay. And everyone's like, oh, I'm going to go research these alpha guys and, and learn from them. And they're not giving good advice. They're speaking out of their asshole, quite literally. Me, I'm bisexual. I've always have been. Great. You heard me say I've been married to a woman for 30 years and I've been committed for 30 years doesn't that I don't have that desire. It's my character to say, this is my person and that's who I want to be. So now that's you're, what you're I, making a character well, versus is the drive. I was going right, to say, then that goes back to, oh, we just built that way because if we're just built that way as men, then there's multiple people that I'm going to want to sleep with. But I think what I was under the impression with that question was, are we biologically DNA right. created yes. for that? Right. I say yes, but I love what we're saying here. It's like, but as men in the culture and awareness and being a human being, having a conscious consciousness, choice, we can choose not to. We can go against those desires or urges and stuff. If you feel that desire and you're honest with your partner, I believe that is true. Do I believe that we are biologically meant to, we just biologically want to sleep with more people because we have a penis between our legs and not a vagina? I don't. Well, let me ask you this though, because you said you're bisexual. So does that means you're- Well, let me ask you this though. Attracted to men and women, right? <laughs> if you're with a woman, boom, aren't you also attracted to men? So wouldn't you want a man on, and a woman? <laughs> no. So you're just like, I just want one and that's- um, I made a commitment and it's not even like I'm but there's no urge to what there's always more urge that's that's what I'm just there I really like the Eric Andre show there's all this absurd shit happening there's a new season out right now it's fucking amazing it's like absurdist nihilistic sketch humor it'd be amazing if some fucking team of actual guys that fuck chicks came out here and beat the shit out of all these guys right now that's what these guys need I'm not uh, encouraging or inciting violence but I think all these guys need a serious ass beating if someone fucking beat the shit out of Myron for, for putting on a Ku Klux Klan hat doing Hal Hitler their signals. He might fucking learn a lesson. Okay. If someone beat the shit out of RST Tyler as, when he's running around telling lie number, you know, 100,000 or, or whatever it's up to now, he might learn a fucking lesson, right? These guys roam free, right? The tapes are going to get thrown in jail. Modern life dating is going to get a huge fucking multi million dollar judgment against him. And, you know, it's, it's just like do what you can. I wish there was just more consequences for these guys being cock sucking ass clowns on stream. And Jay don't stand in line. I ain't never had to wait. I'm the realest in this game. I ain't never had to just take a look at the scores i put numbers up on the boards i'm in a section with models and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours fixed drama factor i'm a boss tycoon my dick smell like two chicks before noon